it starts with a carry by Elliott. And a nice spin into some open field. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 60 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. And they will line up now for the two-point try. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And he'll get in. And they take an 8-7 lead. They didn't want the tie. They roll the dice and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Forget tying the ball game and feeling like we're just hanging with you. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one-point lead. And that just changes the complexion of the whole game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Brady to throw on second down. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. Now. Yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. Here's Brady to throw. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A couple of big plays in succession there for the Pats. They're on the move. Instead of the running back in New England, sometimes they like to call them the passing backs. They, they get them the ball in different ways, don't they? They certainly do. Think about the ones they've had in recent vintage. You're talking about Kevin Falk, Danny Woodhead, Shane Vereen. James White could have been the MVP in the Super Bowl if it wasn't for a certain quarterback that was on the field that day. Again, they'll throw with Brady. It's caught left side by Cooks. Pass the 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Brandon Cooks, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Pats able to cash in for six. So they're going to go for two. Now Brady again. The quick slant caught. And oh, a good hit there and knocked down hard. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, 
That's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. They keep on the ground with Allen. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. They'll try the right side with Elliott. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. And the tackle's made there by one of the secondary members. And I can guarantee you, having played that spot in the huddle right now or on the field, they're urging for a little bit more support from the guys up front. I actually remember one game where I hopped over a defensive lineman to make a tackle downfield and realized he was 10 yards downfield. That's not good. That's being driven off the line of scrimmage, and you can't have that if you're going to win a game on defense. And he rifles one incomplete. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. Prescott. And hold in by Gathers. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. And the lead is now two. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. here back at the 21 yard line that's going to go as a loss of four and it'll be second down and yet again this run game just continues to be completely shut off completely stymied I mean, they're trying to get some consistency trying to find places to roam they just haven't been there throughout this game now Brady and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete pressure and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward and that time they were able to get in there and influence the throw and remember quarterbacks got to get rid of it they don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore on third and long it's Brady now the pressure comes and he goes down just inside the 10 back at the 9 Malik Collins Able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on fourth. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four.
Here's Ryan Allen now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Now Brown. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. A big play there. Taking it in. And the Patriots have moved down in front here in the fourth quarter. So now a big spot for the Pats as they'll go for two. From the gun, it's Brady, and it's incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense, right? Yeah, that's true. You've said that before. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Elliott running right. And he's got some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. They'll start off with a give to Lewis. And some room to work. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick. Deion Lewis. 
And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Deion Lewis, 46 yards. And the Patriots have moved down in front here in the fourth quarter. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And that will make this a four-point game. Goskowski now out to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? Really? Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 75 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. The insistence of speed at every position is really seen at the defensive end spot. These guys in the old days were often outside linebackers. They just pushed them forward because they wanted to play fast and get to the quarterback or the running backs quicker than ever before. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave him with a third and five. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. He's back to throw. This is caught. It's Cooks. 
And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. It goes as a pickup of 23. And it gives the Pats a first down. Back to throw. And that's complete to Cooks. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. He'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You can give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Third down, Elliott, and not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. one-yard punt that time and there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros one final try now for Brady and it's incomplete so their final drive comes up empty game they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end but they couldn't get it done however we were treated to really a spectacular affair even though they didn't finish it off you're exactly right they took us down to the last play we're still you were wondering could it happen possibly even though we both knew it was a long shot So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. And with that, we say so.